Welcome to this tutorial on account registration and user management. This will demonstrate the creation and management of an account for an organization within DEQ's Clean Fuels Program, or CFP, online system. This is the starting web page for users to log in and for company administrators to initiate the registration of their organization in the CFP system. To start, you'll need to register your organization by clicking the Register Re Regulated Party button on this page. This is the organization registration page, comprised of two detailed sections. The top section is for the organization details, and the bottom section is for user profile details. In the organization details section, the CFP online system user who is the administrator for the organization needs to complete the entry with the specified information. Note that some entries are required. The most important entry is the Federal Tax Identification Number, or FEIN. This is used by the CFP system to establish and maintain the uniqueness of each registered organization. Below, in the User Profile section, the company administrator will enter his or her account information. The first user profile entered during the registration process is designated by the system as the default administrative account for the rest of the organization. Any additional user accounts for this organization will need to be created using the same account. I will now go ahead and enter the information. Once I've entered the new account information, I will complete the registration by clicking the Register Organization button. This is the registration confirmation page, which is displayed upon successful registration. DEQ will review the registration information in order to validate the organization prior to approving the registered account. An email will be sent out by the CFP system to the registrant's email address once the organization has been approved. Here we are back on the login page. I will now go ahead and log in using a pre-existing account. This is the home page, which contains an important reminder section where DEQ will periodically post system-wide messages for all regulated parties. From this point, we will continue on to the Organization Profile page by clicking on the Organization Profile tab. This is the Organization Profile page. This page has two sections, the Organization Details section on the top and the Facilities section below. The Organization Details section allows an administrative user to edit the information associated with their organization. In order to edit this information, simply change the text or select a different value from the drop-down. In order to save these changes, simply click the Update Organization Profile button and the changes will be saved. Below is the Facilities section, which enables administrative users to add, edit, or delete production and import facilities associated with their organization, though there is currently no requirement to complete this information. To add a facility, simply click the Add Facility button located right above the grid. This is the Add Facilities form. I will go ahead and add a facility now. In order to add this facility, I'll simply click the Add Facility button. And we can see that the new facility has appeared in the grid here. In order to edit this facility, I can click on this pencil icon under the Edit column. And we can see that it brings up the previously entered facility. To make an edit, I'll change some of the text and click Update Facility.
and we can see that the facility has been updated. And finally, to delete the facility, I can click the X mark under the Delete column. And now we can see that the facility has been deleted. A final note about this facility section is that it is intended only for import and production facilities. It is not intended for biofuel producer facilities. The registration of biofuel facilities is a separate registration process, which will be explained in another tutorial. And now we can move on to the user profile page. This is the user profile page. This page is comprised of two sections, the user form on top and the user grid below. On this page, an administrator can add, edit, or disable users for their entire organization. The CFP system maintains four types of user roles, administrator, credit facilitator, contributor, and reviewer. Administrators can alter organization information, add new users, and create or edit reports. Contributors can create and edit reports and also add new business partners. Reviewers can view reports that have been created. Credit facilitators can initiate credit transfers, update credit transfers, and can also view reports. There are various permissions associated with each user, regardless of role. A user can be assigned signatory authority, which is permission to submit reports. And a user can also be assigned to be the primary contact, which designates this person as a main contact for the organization. The user who created the organization is designated as the first administrator of the organization and is given signatory authority automatically. To create a new user, the top portion of the user form needs to be filled out. And I'll go ahead and do that right now. Once the user information is filled out, we can go ahead and add the user by clicking Add User Profile. And we can see upon adding a user that the user automatically appears in the grid below. In order to edit a user, simply click the See Details link under the User Details column. And we can see that the user information is brought up to the form above. In order to edit, simply make any changes that need to be made and then click the Update User Profile button to save those changes. Finally, to disable a user, simply click See Details and uncheck the User Active checkbox, and then click the Update User Profile button. This will successfully disable the user. If a user forgets their password, users with the administrative role can generate a temporary password by clicking Temp and then clicking OK. Upon doing this, the system will generate a temporary password which will be sent to that user. After logging on with this temporary password, the user will be prompted to create a new password for their account. This concludes the tutorial on the registration and account management process in the Clean Fuels Program online system. Thank you.